I'm uh, Dr. Nick Brenton. I'm a pediatric neurologist at the University of Virginia. So I see children with uh, neurologic diseases. Uh, my primary specialty is autoimmune diseases of the central nervous system, um, including uh, diseases like multiple sclerosis and ADEM, optic neuritis, and transverse myelitis in kids and, and young adults. By having and treating kids that have a chronic disease, I'm with them a long time, and we're a partner as we move through the disease course and treating it. And so that also is very beneficial to be able to work with them to the span of childhood and early adulthood to treat their disease. Part of why I do what I do and why I've chosen the field that I've chosen is because of my experiences in working with some of these patients from the beginning and the um, sense of vulnerability that comes with receiving a diagnosis or not receiving a diagnosis. I think being able to provide answers but also being able to lead them down the path to eventual diagnosis and how we go about treating it and managing it has been um, part of the reason or the majority of the reason why I chose to do what I do. Whenever you're seeing kids it's kind of a package deal so it's not just treating the child but it's also seeing the parents and the siblings and so uh, my interactions with the families and the patients is probably one of the most rewarding parts of my career. We have a great team of pediatric neurologists here at UVA that I work with and we all have our specialties that we see including a headache specialist, epilepsy specialists, um, concussion and brain injury specialists and so so we all work together and we all help each other to diagnose and fit our patients in the right, uh, in the right uh, niche where they need to be. I think it's imp most important for families when they see a physician to know that that physician is listening to them and to know that the, the physician is valuing what they're saying and to make sure that they have adequate time to tell their story. And I think that's probably one of the most important pieces that any doctor can provide beyond you know, the expected treatment diagnosis is a listening ear.